Did you know that in the UK, it's estimated that incredibly 12 million households, which is 44%, have pets with around 51 million pets owned, of which 9 million are dogs and 8 million are cats. Unsurprisingly, over 88% of them say that having a pet improves their quality of life. In the same year, a whopping £4.7 billion was spent on pet-related products and £5.2 billion was spent on veterinary bills and related services. The cost of owning a dog for its entire life in the UK is about six and a half to £17,000 depending on size and this does not include the vet bills. Pet guardianship is a responsibility filled with immense physical, mental, financial and emotional demands. As many have described, it's like having a child. Vast amount of time, effort and energy are expected and needed. You may have heard of pet guardians who have sacrificed traveling because of their pets. You may also know of some friends who have had cars specially fitted for their dogs. What about a couple that had converted their home into a rehab unit and dedicated their lives to saving wild birds that was brought into them just for the chance, that little chance that they might be released into the wild again. Perhaps you know someone like that. Maybe it is you. In this chapter, we will explore pet guardianship. We will discuss the pros and cons and perhaps why you chose to take on this responsibility. We will also discover whether pet guardianship is actually beneficial for the pet or not. We will then conclude with finding out how appropriate the term pet ownership is. This is why I got my pet. There are many reasons why having pets may be good for you. You know how much your furry or non-furry friend improves your quality of life. But it's not all about unconditional love, although that actually provides a wellness boost too. On an emotional level, owning a pet can decrease depression, stress and anxiety. And health-wise, it can lower your blood pressure, improve your immunity, and even decrease your risk of a heart attack and stroke. But there is more. In a 2002 study at State University in New York at Buffalo, researchers found that when conducting a stressful task, people experienced less stress when their pets were with them than when a spouse, family member, or close friend was nearby. Can you imagine? Don't tell the family. While some studies have found a stronger connection than others, having a pet has the potential to lower blood pressure, especially in patients who have high blood pressure or are at risk. Having a pet can reduce anxiety, leading to reduction in pain, especially when his guardian is dealing with chronic pain like arthritis or migraines. Doris is a 75-year-old lady who claimed that her arthritis became worse when she was without her Tito, her beloved Yorkie Yorkshire Terrier. It improves your mood. It could be the unconditional love that they always exhibit, making you feel like a superstar. And you never have to explain yourself on any occasion unless you choose to. It helps you to socialize as well. Owning a dog usually involves increases chances of meeting other people with a common interest when you walk the dog. There is a similar effect when caring for any other pet. It creates a common bond with other pet guardians which may lead to increased interaction. In addition, an Austrian study found that pet guardianship lead to an increase in social contact, more socialization within neighborhoods, such as neighbors chatting as they walk their dogs, and even a greater perception to observers that the neighborhood may seem more friendly. Also, it can help to keep the owners fitter from walking the dog. Amazingly, it can also help prevent strokes and reduce heart attacks. It is believed by having a cat, having a cat will reduce your chances of having a stroke by 30% and heart attack by 40%. It can be used to monitor the blood sugar levels in diabetic patients. According to the American Diabetes Association Diabetics Forecast Magazine, a 1992 study found that a third of pets living with diabetics, mostly dogs, but other pets also include cats, birds, and rabbits, would change their behavior if their guardian's blood sugar level dropped. 
Casper, a yellow Labrador, would bark and look for his guardian whenever his 10-year-old son was starting to have a seizure episode. In addition, it prevents allergies and increases immunity. Studies have shown that children who grew up on farms and around animals had lesser chance of getting allergies. The more pets you grew up with, the lesser the allergies. Unsurprisingly, it helps children to develop. Having a pet can allow your children to relate to others and allow them to express their feelings better. You feel safer. If you're home alone, having a pet can make you feel safer. Also, burglars are less likely to target a house that is clearly a home to a dog, especially having a gut dog like a German Shepherd, or simply any size dog with a deep, loud bark. All in all, the general feeling seems to be that having a pet creates positive emotions and is tremendously great for your health. But I suspect you already knew that.